Howdy guys, this is Shane. Today we're checking out the Pro Junior version 4. It's got a wicked lacquer tweed, it's got a Jensen 10 inch speaker and it's rated at 10 watts. Let's check it out. Howdy folks, my name's Shane. This little amp is an absolute blues machine. You plug in, you turn it up, and it sounds good. Now it only has two controls on the top. We have a volume and a tone control. That's all this thing needs. And because it kind of gets to the saturation point really easily, it doesn't ever feel like you really need a reverb tank with this thing either. So you plug in and you get a really great tone. I was talking to Rick about this amp the other day and we both sort of felt like maybe it has a bit more mojo than even a Blues Junior. Even though this only has a 10 inch speaker on here and it has very limited controls, just tonally this is a really great sounding amp. If you were recording at home, something like this would be a no brainer. Today we're going to check this out with my Telecaster for some single coil tones as well as my ES335. A huge thanks to Sky Music for letting me review this, I really appreciate it. I'll give you some of my thoughts and feelings about this amp at the end of the video as well. If you live in Australia, check them out. I'll post all links on screen and in the description below. I'm a big fan. I think this is a really, really great little amp. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick this off. I'm playing my Fender Telecaster loaded with a set of MJS custom pickups. Now I'm plugged straight into the amplifier, no other effects. We have the volume on eight, so it's at one o'clock. We have the tone control right at 12. To start this off, I'm going to start with my volume control at about 50% on the neck pickup. And that's how you get the amp to be clean. Then when you turn up, have a listen to this. So that's what this amp does extremely well. It gives you the tube dynamic. You turn down, you get a cleaner sound. You turn up your guitar, you get that kind of sound. And the amp really has nowhere to go once you get it to about eight. Somewhere around there on the volume, we can turn it up, get it up to 10. It's just going to sound more saturated now when I turn up, and the volume's not going to be that different. bridge. <laughs> yeah. 
Over to my Japanese made Tokai ES335 and I've just gone ahead and put the volume back on the amp to about 1 o'clock. I'm also going to put the tone control at 1 o'clock as well so they're both pointing at 8. Let's give this a shot. This is neck pickup. <laughs> wants to take off. Let's try bridge. Yeah, man. Let's go ahead and try it now with the volume control on the guitar down. Now you're not going to get as clean a tone out of something like a 335 as you would out of a single coil guitar. Just due to the output and tonality of these pickups, it's just going to push the front end a whole lot more. But that said, you know, you can still turn down and get a pretty clean tone, but not a pristine clean tone. Once you start turning these amps down too much, they don't really shine. You've got to have them up at around 12 o'clock or beyond. Thanks for watching, my name is Shane. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, if it wasn't blatantly obvious, I really enjoyed playing this. I think it shines with the humbuckers. I think it shines also with the single coils. So realistically, no matter what you play, something like this, is if you're into blues, it's gonna suit that kind of stuff, no problems. It will also do a bit of a classic rock crunch tone, that tube saturation tone. Now this next part comes down to subjectivity and whether or not you like amps that get dirty as quick as what this does. If you do, you're going to be loving this thing. Like I said, you can mic this up, do some really great recordings with it, or even maybe mic it up at a gig if you've got a fallback coming back at you. But generally, this would not be loud enough to take out and play with a loud drummer. Not at all. It just would get way too saturated way too quickly. But realistically, you wouldn't go pushing a tube screamer into this once you've got the volume on three, it's gonna go nowhere, it's just gonna get fizzy. You could probably run some pedals with the amp down at a cleaner volume, but that said, I don't know, I kinda of like the fact you can just get that type of tone out of the amp without like killing your neighbors or whatever. So that's a pretty cool thing. I really like the fact they've put a quality Jensen speaker in there. I think Fender shoot themselves in the foot a lot by putting crap speakers in their amps. I'm a huge Fender fan, but I always change the speakers. This is the kind of amp where you'd buy it and you'd be done. You wouldn't need to go modding it. So I think it's pretty cool. Overall, it's been fun. So a huge thanks to Sky Music for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on the tone of this as well. I haven't heard this back in editing yet, so hopefully it sounds as good on the recording as it did in the room. Yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed playing the 335 with this. There's something about that tone that I really dig. So no matter what guitar you play, you'll probably get a good bluesy sound out of it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. I'll catch you all soon. See ya.